Hey guys, welcome back uh, again. I'm doing this two videos in a row, so maybe I should have changed the sweater. Ah, no. Oh, who cares? Do you care? Tell me. Uh, anyways, today this video is to show you my new watch. And no, it is not the Navi timer. This is not my new watch. This is my old watch and it's on my right hand. It's downgraded because I got a new watch. I have a new watch and um, I just want to show you. This is a G-Shock and uh, I got this from, from my wife as a gift and uh, I brought it here. I actually allow it has Bluetooth and all sorts of things, but what I use the Bluetooth for is so I don't have to manually sync the time. I just hit the button and it syncs with the app on my phone and the time is correct. And the time zones, I hate changing that on G-Shocks. And uh, yeah, got the watch. I'm gonna be using it to go to work, to job with it. And it's a uh, G-Shock S something, I don't know. Uh, and I like it, it's a GBD 800. GBD 800, it's not really a uh, camera. Uh, it's not very photogenic, but I like it. It's monochromatic with a little rings inside and it has a step tracker and uh, you get an app and download it and whatnot. Very comfortable, uh, very comfortable band. Uh, the comparing to the older G-Shock bands, this one's very softer and nicer and uh, it's very cool. I always... Uh, I want to show you the light, but I can't, <laughs> sorry, I love it when it, the watch has backlight on. It's something from my old days when I was a kid. It was the coolest thing ever. You press the button and it lights up and I didn't even have an Indigo. My first watch with the backlight was with the, the some Casio with the old uh, yellow light, and the, the, the like, light bulb in, the, in between. Later on, I had some in the clothes and Casios. But yeah, I, I enjoy, enjoy G-Shock and it brings out the little kid in me. I immediately downgraded uh, Navi timer to my right. And this one I put and I play around with it and show the people, hey, look, look what I have. I have a light on and see. <laughs> And then I should, the little things, little things. And uh, uh, what I'm trying to say is that all watches bring joy. And you should not look down on some watches because just because they are not luxury or whatnot. Don't look down on them. Let people have joy and let people enjoy watches. I certainly, uh, no one can tell me. You can be influenced by some other people here on YouTube a lot. If a watch is not a luxury, it's a bullshit, it's a shitter. If it doesn't hurt, it's no good. But just a simple G-Shock brings a joy and smile and uh, it's it's the same joy when I got an every timer. It's not much difference because I look forward to it and I actually like G-Shock so buy what you like and don't listen to others.